What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I decided today to film... What are my arms doing right now? I decided to film a Q&A today. So I asked you guys on Instagram to leave me questions and I got so many questions. Like I was not expecting. I got over 700 questions within like less than 24 hours and I had a lot of trouble picking ones that I wanted to answer just because there were a lot of like the same types of questions but a lot of really interesting questions that I wanted to answer that I... I just know the video is going to be so long if I answer so many of them. So if you guys like this video, then I'll probably do more. So let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Yeah, by the way, I know I'm going to get so many questions about this. The lipstick that I'm wearing is the Kylie Lip Kit in Candy K. I just got it in the mail and I really unevenly overlined my lips really badly. So I'm sorry if it's distracting to you because I just looked in the mirror and I was like, ah, screw it, whatever. YOLO. <laughs> so I am going to start... Now, so I screenshotted a few questions. Delph underscore 2435 asked, if you could only live in a single place on earth and you could never travel around the world, what would that place be? That would literally suck because I love traveling. Um, but I think probably like somewhere in the UK just because I love it so much there and I just think it's so beautiful and the architecture and everything is just amazing. I think personally for me that's probably where I'd live or like Sydney because you get the city life and the beach life so you get like best of both worlds so I don't know. I really liked Sydney when I was there. Adele Antos asked, do you think doing a sport you don't enjoy anymore is worth the time and happiness because I'm in this situation right now and I need help? Thank you. So I thought this was a really interesting question because I dealt with this. I, if you guys don't know, I was a competitive swimmer for 10 years at a very high level. Like I was training, oh my gosh, like literally 10 times a week for hours on end and it consumed my whole life, you know? Like I went in a special sports program in high school to be able to train as much as I did. And the reason why I ended up quitting was because I just didn't enjoy it anymore and I wasn't happy. And I think that I do not regret that decision at all. I don't think that, oh, I wish I stayed longer. I could have done something like, no. I was really unhappy. I did not enjoy it. And I think as, as long as you're doing something that's like recreational recreational or like a hobby and you're not happy doing it, then there's really no point in doing it. There are so many things in the world that you guys could do that can make you so happy. And if you're just doing like a sport because you're being forced to do it or you think that, you know, it's better for you or something, I think mental health comes before physical. Um, because without a strong mental health, you'll never really become fully strong everywhere else. So if it's making you really unhappy, I say bye to that. Do something that makes you happy because you only get one life. And I mean, at least for what I believe, you only get one life and you want to make that life the happiest you can. So that is my piece of advice for you. But make sure you look deep down inside and think like, is it actually making me unhappy or am I just being lazy? Because there's a difference between the two. <laughs> Jillian.Rose asks, if you could only watch three TV shows, what would they be? Friends, The Office, and Keeping Up with the Kardashians because those are the three that I watch all the time. Obviously, Keeping Up with the Kardashians is still playing, but Friends in the Office isn't. I just watch them on repeat because I'm obsessed. Daria underscore Mania, I think that's how you pronounce your name. Sorry if I butcher it. Asked, what are your travel plans? Germany, maybe? I love you. I love you too. Um, I would love to visit Germany. Uh, it's definitely on my bucket list. For future travel plans, like in the near future, definitely these are all like on my list that I will be visiting very soon. So there's Iceland, Portugal, um, Ireland. Who knows, maybe things change and I'll go somewhere else, but don't worry. As long as you follow me on social media, you'll be able to see anytime I'm going anywhere and I would love to meet you guys from wherever you're from. I just wanna like give you all big hugs because it's fun. <laughs> It makes me happy. What is the last emoji that you used? Oh, this is i.am.just.a.mermaid. Are you really a mermaid though? Because that would be awesome. So the last emoji I used was, if I go into my texts, it was the kissy one, the little kissy face. Shelby I. Martin, I think that's how you say it. Shelby I. E. Martin asks, where do you see yourself in 10 years? This is a really cool question because it's kind of impossible to tell, so, I see myself uh, married with kids, um, living in a house with children. I want a lot of kids. Well, we'll see. I'll, I'll have one first and see how that goes and then go from there. But I've always wanted a lot of kids. 
and Dan wants a lot of kids as well so I see myself being very happy I see myself with Daniel I see myself continuing to do YouTube or continuing to make videos and just being really really happy like that's just what I see so very minimalistic but I just want to be a mom you know M L S S wait is that two S's or three S's yeah M L S S R T asks have you ever been unpopular and how have you dealt with it yeah I was a huge dork and like all of elementary, all of high school. <laughs> like really, like glasses, braces, so dorky looking, no sense of style, never wore makeup. I only wore makeup the first time for my prom at the end of high school and it wasn't even a lot of makeup. I just put a bit of bronzer on and lip gloss, like yeah. And now this is what I do for a living. I just thought that, you know, it made me stronger as a person, as a character, and I'm able to deal with like hate and like not really let it get to me. I have thicker skin. I don't know, I feel like I like the fact that I wasn't like a popular person in high school because it made me appreciate a lot of different things. I never had people like doing whatever I wanted for me. I had to kind of like work to be, not to be liked, but like worked. I don't know how to explain it. Basically, it was a growing experience. I'm happy that it went that way. Wonderstruck, like W-O-N-D-R-S-T-R-K, that's cool, asks, if you could be a character from your favorite series, who would you be and why? Michael Scott from The Office, that's who I'd be, because he's awesome. So this question is from Anouk Van Ham. She asks, I know that you also have anxiety, but do you also have social anxiety because you are so good with people? So I thought if you have social anxiety, how do you deal with it? Um, my whole life I've had social anxiety. I was such a shy child. Like I would be so shy, even in front of my family. Like I'd go to my grandma's house and my mom would say like when, before we got into the house, I'd be like, I'm gonna be shy. Like that was like my thing I said before I like, went into anyone's houses and I was so shy as a kid and I was never one to be very outgoing and like going into school and stuff I was always friends with the more quiet people and I just wasn't like that I never liked to be center of attention I actually hated it the fact that I've been asked to do so many meetups and I meet so many of you guys YouTube has actually helped with my social anxiety so much even though right now I'm just talking to my camera in my head I know I'm talking to you guys so it's like different like I feel like I'm talking to a friend rather than talking to like my camera But talking to people in general like I used to be so awkward Like have you guys ever been in a situation where you're with a friend and then they see a friend that they know But you don't really know the person so they start talking and then like they introduce you whatever but like you're kind of like not really involved in the conversation. I never knew what to do in that situation. I would like go on my phone. I would be so uncomfortable, so awkward. And I remember just thinking like, why is this so hard for me to just stand here normally listening to them talk? Like, why do I feel so uncomfortable? Why do I have to like pretend to go on my phone? And like, I just realized that that was just a form of social anxiety and it just made me so uncomfortable. Like that's just like a small example of like it, you know? But I just, nowadays if that happens, I just kind of like look at the person. I. I kind of just like nod my head as if I'm like interested in what they're saying and like that's it and now talking to crowds of people I just realized that like I don't really care what people think about me anymore like I just I'm really happy with myself so talking to people I just always talk to someone pretending that they're a friend of mine that's just what I do and it just really helps and that's that what was your most embarrassing moment um, oh gosh, I have so many embarrassing moments. Okay, I have two. One of them is not as bad as the other. So one of them, I had an oral presentation in university when I was still in university and I was so stressed over the whole presentation because it was a group presentation and I had to speak for five minutes straight, which is not that long, but like for me before I was like, doing YouTube and stuff, I was a very shy person, like I said, and I was just very, very nervous, and I just wanted to make sure I had all, like, I memorized it, I was prepared, I dressed really nice, I did my makeup, got in my car, drove to school, got to class, which was like a big auditorium class, like the really big ones, walk into class, my group looks at me, they look down at my feet, and they're like, you realize you're in your slippers, right? Oh my gosh, guys! <laughs> I had to give that oral presentation with slippers on my feet, like the big UGG slippers, you know? Like they weren't UGG, they were from like, I don't know, like Target or something, but they were furry, like big ones. And I was like, oh my God, because it was still warm outside. So I don't know, it was like near the end of the year. So around this time and like it was warm out. So I was so used to going out with my, slip, my sandals and my flip flops, whatever. So I just wasn't thinking. And yeah, I gave that oral presentation with slippers on and I got a really good grade and I got a bonus mark for wearing slippers to an oral presentation in a business class. <laughs> so embarrassing. 
I think another embarrassing moment, this one is like one of those things, like the slipper one, I'm kind of like, I laugh about it because like people thought it was funny and like whatever. It's like, oh my God, like typical Alex or like, yeah, that could have happened to me. This moment is like, Something that, you know when you think back at these moments when you're, it's like late at night and you just like, you think of that moment and you're like, Ugh! like literally you get those like chills and you're like, oh, why'd I say that? Why'd I do that? Like so embarrassing. So basically, oh my God, <laughs> I makes me want to do this. <laughs> like, Ugh. Um, so, okay. What happened was I was with my good friend, Kat Bell. You guys know her. She's one of my best friends and my sister is one of her best friends, Nicole. So Nicole, she works at this like restaurant slash nightclub, but it's like a, it's a lounge bar, whatever. She works somewhere downtown and she was with her friend and we were invited to meet a celebrity and like hang out, whatever. And I was kind of like, okay, I'm down, whatever. It's cool. We're like a group of people just hanging out. Um, I can't say the person's name just because we have to sign papers and stuff. I'm sorry. Like I know I literally hate when YouTubers talk about something and they can't say the whole thing, but I can't say the person's name. Basically, we hung out and um, at one point during the night, the person, I was like sitting with Nicole and we were talking and the person was like talking to another person, um, like that person's friend who was also joined us for the night. So him and his friend were talking and I was talking to Nicole and he came up and was like, oh, what are you girls talking about? And we're like, oh, nothing, haha, <laughs> whatever, we're just joking. So he comes to sit in between us and as he's like sitting, his like butt is like coming towards my face. Do you know what I said? I was like, oh, don't fart on me. Like, what? <laughs> oh my God. Literally said that. Nicole looked at me, she was like, her face was just like, what? <laughs> like looked at me. He thought it was funny. He died of laughter, but I was, I like think back to that moment and I'm like, why did that come out of my mouth? Like literally, why did I say that? Like that's so embarrassing. Him and I are friends now, so it's no big deal, but just sometimes I need to think before I talk because things just come out of my mouth sometimes. Sometimes I say really embarrassing things to my parents as well. And I'm like, why did I say that? And they're like, I don't know, Alex, what's wrong with you? I'm like, I don't know. Struggle, the struggle is real. Oh, I forgot to say who asked me that question. Oh no, I can't find it. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't find you. Anyways. Someone else asked, I'm not gonna forget your name, Jules.Mary asked, where's your sweatshirt from? In the picture that I posted on Instagram where I asked questions, where I said, ask me questions, my sweatshirt was actually from, it was just like a random Maine sweatshirt. I got it in Maine when I was there last summer. It's just like a big oversized sweatshirt that says Maine on it. <laughs> I really like it though. Holly.Leanne asked, what filter do you use on Instagram? I always use A5. That's like my favorite filter. And that's the only filter I use. And then I just edit like the saturation, the contrast, the brightness, all that kind of stuff. Also, a lot of you guys are asking like, when are Daniel and I gonna get engaged? That's such a like awkward question because obviously I don't know. <laughs> like it's up to him really. I mean, I, I, I could propose if I wanted to, but I, I wanna get proposed to. But yeah, I don't know, it's up to him. Probably sometime within the next year, I'm assuming. I don't know, it's really up to him, go ask him. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and I'll make sure to do more. There are so many questions I feel like you guys have. I really want to make an updated how I edit my Instagram pictures because I get literally so many questions, especially recently. So many people are asking questions about that. A lot of people get annoyed over the fact that my hair looks a lot more silver in pictures than it does in my videos. I promise you it looks more silver in person than it does in my videos as well, but it definitely is coming out. And also I use the filter A5 for all my pictures that I edit and that does give a more white tint to the photo itself. So, um, and I use just my Instagram pictures as my thumbnails because why not, right? But like seriously, why does that change your life over the fact of what hair color I have or don't have? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys all so much. I hope you enjoyed the video, I just said that. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye! Woke up this evening